What was that noise? Mommy! What is it, sweetie? I said, what was that noise? Nothing, sweetie. I just ran over a big frog. No, you didn't, Mommy. Frogs don't sound like that. Mommy, I'm bored. I want to open my eyes. Please, just be a good girl and keep your eyes closed like I told you. Okay, sweetie? Hey, buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Hey, 
Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics, jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. as usual in this town. See the center of town. Take me there. Roger. top of that mall you gotta be kidding me man you are nuts all right listen don't forget to come back for me as long as you're not dead Fred it's Frank Frank West remember that name because the whole world's gonna know it in three days when I get the scoop Get us 
back down to that rooftop. No, I'm gonna get my butt chewed out for this one. We're going down. Hello there. You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah, no. You came alone? Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well... If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. Bring that over here! Madonna? Hey, oh, quit no. screwing around! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Have you seen my baby? I can't live without my precious little sweetie doggy! Oh, where is my Madonna? Where is she? Oh, oh. No time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now... They're all that's out there. Hey, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay. Come on, pronto. Madonna, sweetie! Has anyone seen my darling Madonna? Well, I just can't imagine life without my darling little baby Madonna. Where do you suppose he went anyway? He couldn't have gotten out of the mall. He's probably hiding somewhere, shitting in his pants like a chump. Well, even a pussy like him can make a decent shield against the zombies. I guess. <laughs> 
Damn it. Every time I come shopping with you, something happens to raise my blood pressure. What do you mean every time? You don't even come home most nights, let alone take me shopping. So? I work for a living. Work? <laughs> Is that what you call that hanky-panky with that big-titted secretary now? Oh, please. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Listen to you. Every time something goes wrong, you have to raise your voice. I never should have married you. You want to split up then? Sounds great. I can't wait to see the look on your face when those zombies eat you. It'll be hilarious. That's my line, Buster. What you've oh. done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. What the? Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. No. As long as those things are in the mall, we better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. <laughs> Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? <sighs> you really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, 
Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. Fantastic. Yeah. Huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. Ah! Oh! God, it's you. Look, don't sneak up on me. <sighs> Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Oh! It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad, or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. Fantastic. Perfect. Great shot. Fantastic. Great shot. Hmm. Well, it's in focus. And, uh, the composition's okay, I suppose. Uh-huh. Hmm. That ain't half bad. Okay, here comes the next one, Frankie. But first, feast your eyes on my work. Now this is my most emotionally moving shot. <laughs> now this is my sexiest shot. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay. This is my most violent shot. Check it out. Ugh. 
Okay, here's the deal, Frankie. You gotta go out there and take even better pictures than the ones I just showed you. You think you can handle that, huh? Yeah. Your, uh, girlfriend sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? <laughs> Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! Got away. Who was that anyway? I don't know. Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Sorry, I've got nothing to tell you. Look, I don't know what Jesse told you, but as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? Who is that? Where did you, you take You help it? me, I help you. Damn. You're one hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot-headed underhanded hotshot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents. And yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. <laughs> You're with Homeland Security. Is that guy a terrorist or something? I took that picture in the entrance plaza. Right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! 
So do I have your permission to cover this story? Or not? Uh. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely, guarantee sir. me safe you passage. Just open to this these... gate. Just open this gate no. for your protection. This I am not us. opening any gate. Thank you very much. I'm going to stay right Do here. Dr. Where Barnaby. Safe. Sir. Thank you and goodbye. Dr. Dr. Barnaby. Goodbye. Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. Hmm. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The old coot's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We gotta line out or what? <sighs> the signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're gonna have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right. We've got to deal with the situation we've been handed. 
The boneheads back at HQ might be working on something, too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon, it's my ride. Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Uh, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> What's happened? <laughs> I understand. What are we doing here?